Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we will discuss the first graph traversal technique, that is breadth first search technique with example. Already we have discussed what is breadth first search technique and how to implement, that is the design steps to implement breadth first search technique. Now, this implementation we will discuss with one example. This is the given graph. For this given graph, we need to find the breadth first search traversal. So the design steps is first we need to consider one vertex as a starting vertex and here you are considering in this is there are two disjoint graphs that is both the graphs are not connected here. So first we will consider this graph and in this graph we will consider one vertex as the starting vertex. So here first step the starting vertex here is A we will consider. Initially we are not considering its adjacent vertices. And what is the data structure here we are going to use to implement breadth first search technique is Q data structure. So initially we will consider the starting vertex as A whenever you are finding the unvisited vertex in the sense that vertex should be included into the Q. So here if you are considering the Q first we are including the vertex A. So first initially we are considering the starting vertex as unvisited and we are including into the Q. Once this vertex has been visited and all its adjacent vertices also we have considered to include it into the Q in the sense. We can remove this vertex. Okay. So traversal output initially there is no output. And second step if you are considering in the sense. Now, we are going to visit vertex A. This is the starting vertex. So, if you are considering vertex A in the sense, its adjacent vertices. So, breadth first search technique will consider only its adjacent vertices. Adjacent unvisited vertices. Okay. It will consider in every iteration. So, the starting vertex A, its adjacent vertices are D, so, adjacent vertices in the sense directly connected to this vertex. So, D is its adjacent vertex, C and E. All three vertices are adjacent to A. So, in which order we will visit these three vertices? Already we know. If there are more than one adjacent vertices in the sense, we will break the tie by considering an alphabetical order or number order. So, alphabetical order if you are considering in the sense, C comes first, then D, then E. So, its adjacent vertices we will consider like C, D and E. So, now we have visited this vertex A. Okay. And we have considered its adjacent vertices also. So, now we will insert this adjacent vertices into the Q. Okay. And we will remove this vertex A. Why? Because we have visited this vertex. So, once it has been visited in the sense we need to remove from the Q. So, now you will insert C, D and E. Next, in this order, we are going to visit the vertex. That is the meaning. And what is the traversal output? Once the vertex has been inserted into the queue and it has been visited in the sense, we will remove it from the queue and we will place it in the traversal output. So, output we will get it as A first. Next step, if you are considering in the sense, consider the next vertex in the queue. So, the next vertex in the queue is C. So, now we will visit the vertex C. So, what is its adjacent vertices? A is adjacent, D is adjacent and F is adjacent. But A already we have been visited and we have placed it into the traversal output. So, no need to consider A. So, remaining unvisited vertices adjacent to C are D and F. So, consider D and F. And if you are considering here, D is already in the Q. F we need to insert into the Q. Okay. So, here if you are considering in the sense, C, now we have been visited and we will place it in the traversal output. After A, C is visited. Now we have to insert D and F into the queue. So D is already placed in the queue. E is already there. And next vertex being visited is F. Okay. Next step. What is the next vertex in the queue first? That is D. Next you have to visit vertex D. And its adjacent vertices are A and C. A is already visited. C is already visited. So, there is no adjacent unvisited vertex. And the remaining vertex in the queue is E and F. And the traversal output here is A, C, D. And what is the next vertex in the queue? It is E. And next we are going to visit E. And its adjacent vertices are A, F and B. 
so a is already visited we have placed in the traversal output okay next unvisited vertices are f and b so f and b f is already in the queue we have to insert b into the queue and we have to remove this vertex e from the queue and we have to place it into the traversal output f is already there in the queue next we have to insert b and the traversal output is a c d e next vertex in the queue is f its adjacent vertices are c e and b c and e already we have visited and we have placed in the traversal output so remaining unvisited vertex adjacent to f is b only so here if you are considering b only will be there in the queue because it is the only vertex unvisited now so traversal output is a c d f okay f we have been visited so we have removed from the queue and we have placed it into the traversal output next step the only vertex in the queue is b visit the vertex adjacent vertices all are visited everything is visited so there is no adjacent unvisited vertex and the queue is also empty now and the traversal output here we will get it as a c d e f b so this is the traversal output we will get it and here if you are considering in this sense we have completed this graph but there is one more graph which is not directly connected to this graph it is a disjoint graph so what we have to do it in the sense in the design steps itself we have told that if there is any universal vertices remaining in the sense unvisited in the sense the bfs will be restarted again so for this outer graph the bfs should be restarted again so next step consider for this outer graph one vertex as the starting vertex in a similar way only okay so g will be considered as the starting vertex for this graph and there is no adjacent vertices initially we will consider insert g into the queue and there is no traversal output initially next step consider vertex g its adjacent vertices are h and j in alphabetical order h comes first so h and j or adjacent vertices insert h and j into the queue and this g will be the traversal output now so already see here so already the output is we need to consider like this so if from this graph there is no output at this step okay so but already there is the traversal output a c d e f b and now this is a c d e f b and this traversal output now is g include g here and next step the next vertex in the queue was h consider vertex h and its adjacent unvisited vertex is i g is also adjacent but it is visited now right so adjacent unvisited vertex is i and this should be included in the queue already in the queue j is there now we include i also and the traversal output here is a c d e f b g h now we have visited h next step the starting vertex in the queue is j visit vertex j and its adjacent unvisited vertex if you are considering and this is only i is unvisited but it has been included in the queue but not visited it right so we will consider its adjacent vertex is i include in the queue already it is in the queue only so next traversal output is a c d e f b g h j next step consider only one vertex is remaining i is remaining there is no adjacent unvisited vertex and q is also empty now right and the traversal output here we will get it as a c d e f b g h j i so this is the traversal output we will get it so now in this given graph we have visited all the vertices okay so the bfs traversal is over now and the output is this is the output one more thing we need to consider here we need to construct the bfs forest already we have discussed in the bfs traversal concepts right what do you mean by bfs forest in the sense it is a undirected disconnected acyclic graph it is a disjoint collection of tree okay so for example if you are considering here in this graph in the sense the starting vertex is a so the bfs traversal will start with the starting vertex a from a its adjacent vertices in order what are all the vertices we will visit here c d and e so alphabetical order we need to consider c 
D and E. So first we will after visiting A, next we will visit C, next we will visit D and next we will visit E. Next what is the vertex we are going to visit in this sense? Adjacent vertices to C we have to visit. In order we need to consider. So adjacent vertices to C if you are considering in the sense A, D and F. Right? D is already there. A is already there. We have visited. Okay? And only F is unvisited. So include F here. Okay? Only one vertex with C. Next. Adjacent vertices to D if you are considering in the sense A and C. It is already visited. Okay? So there is no adjacent unvisited vertex to D. Next, go to E. Adjacent unvisited vertex to E is F and B, but F is already included with C, right? So, F we have been visited actually. After visiting E only, F, F we have been visited. So, only one vertex that is left unvisited adjacent to E is B. So, include B. So, this is actually the forest and in this forest, if you are considering, we have not included all the edges, right? Whatever the edges given in the graph, they have not been included. So, the remaining edges, whatever we have not included, that we have to add it as a dotted line. See here, for A, if you are considering, there are three edges from A. So, we have included here. And for, from C, if you are considering, there are three edges here. One is C to A, C to D and C to F. So, C to A is there, C to F is there, C to D it is not there. So, we have to include it as a dotted line, right? Next, if you are considering in the sense for D, if you are considering two edges only, D to A and D to C. D to A is there, D to C, we have included it as a dotted line. Because directly, we won't visit the vertex D from C. That is the meaning. Through A only, we are visiting C and D. Next, if you are considering E in the sense, there are three edges. E to A, it is there. E to B, E to F. E to B is there. E to F, we have to include it as a dotted line. Right? Next, if you are considering F in the sense, three edges, F to C, F to E, it is there and F to B. So, F to B also you have to include it as a dotted line. Next, if you are considering B in the sense, two edges, B to E and B to F. This forest is over. Similarly, for this outer graph G, starting vertex is G. From G, we have to visit H first and then we have to visit J. And from H, we have to visit I, right? So, there are four edges here. We have included only three edges. G to H is there. H to I is there. And J to I, there is no edge. We have not included. There is an edge, but we have not included. So, include it as a dotted line. So, this is nothing but forest, okay? So, forest is nothing but a disjoint collection of tree. So, it is an undirected acyclic graph. Cycle should not be there, right? It is an undirected acyclic graph. That is nothing but the forest. So, this is the traversal output. And here, if you are considering the breadth first search, the order of visiting the vertex output, if you are considering in the sense, we have visited A first. So, A is 1, traversal output. C is 2, D is 3. That is, we have been visited as a third vertex, D. Okay. E4, F5, B6 and G7. H8, J9 and I10. So, this is the BFS traversal output for this given graph. And this is the procedure to implement. Thank you for watching this video. 